Hey everyone, my name is Ellen. And my name's Alyssa. Welcome back to the Modern Singer Podcast. Did you notice I didn't forget the sign? I'm so proud of you. (laughs) I was on it. I was ready on it. Hi, hello. So first of all, I tried something new when I wrote these notes today because I legitimately did not know how to start this and I was just feeling super stuck. So I took to Jet TPT and... (laughs) I loved it. Oh my god, it was it brought me so much joy. But I took out most of the quirks that they added. My favorite was hold on to your headshots. Hold on to your headshots, <laughs> folks. <laughs> but double check our socials this week because I think I'm going to try and put them on there. It was just so funny to see AI generated podcast notes. Oh my god, it was hilarious. You just definitely check it out. It's a definitely good worth laugh. your time. I sent it to you and I sent it to Brennan. And everyone loved it. So I'm just going to share it with everyone because it's so funny to me. It's too funny. Today we're going to talk about LinkedIn. It is such a hot button topic for me lately as someone who juggles two simultaneous careers in music and in fitness in many different forms for both of them. The topic of building a network is always on my mind. Last month, I actually joined Jen Waldman's Career Collective after spending a week learning from her, and oh boy, has my mindset changed. Today, we are going to dive into the world of LinkedIn profiles and why they're not just for people in corporate jobs anymore. Not only is it a great place to meet casting and producers, it's a really wonderful way to stay connected to parts of your network that might not be on other social media platforms. Yeah, I always had a a strong feeling about LinkedIn, but it's really making a comeback. <laughs> I know. I deleted mine a couple years ago, and I had to remake it six months ago. Yep. I, I always forget to to keep it up to date. That's that's a really key point. Oh my god, I haven't posted on there in months. But it, it really is a great way to to network. So let's let's talk about network growth. LinkedIn isn't just a platform for exchanging business cards. It's a virtual stage where you can showcase your talent to the world in lots of lots of new ways. Your LinkedIn profile is your backstage pass to connect with industry pros, fellow artists, and other potential collaborators. There are also a lot of differences to think of in a LinkedIn post rather than like a Facebook post, an Instagram post, or a Twitter, or a X, Twitter. Whatever. I If people want to call it X, you can call it X. It shall forever be Twitter, and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I will die on that hill because I legitimately could not care less. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, it's... It's hard for me. I, I don't use Twitter. I'm not a Twitter a me neither. Twitter fan. I don't even think we use our Twitter on Modern Singer anymore. No, we don't. We just have it. I I didn't even use it before that. I, I just, I can't. Did I tell you why I got a Twitter? No. Oh my gosh. So I got extra credit my freshman year of high school to make a Twitter account and follow my teacher. Stop it. It was like looking back on it, I'm like, ew, that's gross. That is gross. <laughs> what was that teacher doing? But also knowing the fact that I didn't try that year in school for like specifically for English class because it wasn't AP. It was just like regular freshman English. And I knew everything that he was talking about or I didn't care. And I think I got 125% in that class. How is that even because of all the extra credit? Mm-hmm. The, yeah. And I'm like. Because you followed him on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Basically. I'm like, that's gross. Oh my God. That's anyways, if you're a teacher. a teacher, please don't have your students make a social media profile just to follow you. The end. Absolutely not. That's Absolutely so gross not. and weird. But there are a lot <laughs> <laughs> Totally not a segue back into that. There are a lot of differences in a LinkedIn post versus a Facebook, Instagram, or X slash Twitter post. The site does prioritize links to share work that you've published or produced which is a really great way to build your SEO for your website and other works. You know, Instagram does not prioritize links at all. No. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, and, and I use Instagram over pretty much everything else. So it's, it's a really great way to showcase other things that you're doing, share what, what you're doing or your company that you're working for or whatever is doing in a, in a professional way. Think of your LinkedIn profile as your digital resume, but with a twist. You can flaunt your past gigs, highlight your skills, and even share cuts of your performances. It is the perfect way to highlight parts of your resume that you're looking to build or grow towards. Is one of your goals to start booking more regional contracts? Share about your past ones. Working towards booking a leading role? Share about how you're learning that role in your free time. LinkedIn is the perfect platform to show your work ethic and dedication. And let's definitely not forget about endorsements. Just like applause from the audience or comments on YouTube, receiving endorsements on LinkedIn is like getting a round of applause from your peers or your collaborators. 
These can be things like your training and applications of stage fighting. If you're a teacher who specializes in a certain genre, or even if you're looking to highlight your design skills, those endorsements can help you boost your credibility and attract the attention from casting directors, agents. I mean, just show your peers what you're doing and all of the cool things that you can do and and more. So much of booking jobs is about how you cultivate your network. Something that I learned from Jen is actually it's not the people in your close-knit circle that are the most likely to get you jobs. It's the people on the tangential corners of your network. So being able to have someone else see that and be like, oh, so-and-so is looking for someone who knows how to use swords. They know how to use swords, and I know that they know how to use swords. I forgot about that. Hey, let me connect them. Absolutely. I mean, how many times, just think about how many times you recommend people. Exactly. I recommend people all the time. Oh yeah, I saw this post of this person and they can do this really cool thing. Like maybe let's hit them up and get them for an interview or, you know, do something with Arizona Opera or, oh, you need a last minute person because this person is is sick. Uh, I know this person, this person, this person, and this person, you know, like. And they all know this role. And they all, exactly. And they all know this role. And the only reason why I know that is because it was on social media, it was on LinkedIn, or, or I know them personally. So If you can think of all the times that you've recommended people, just think about the thousands and thousands of other people that could possibly recommend you. Adding another social media platform to post on can feel like a big ask, but you don't need to post every day on there. And there are always ways to simplify it. I actually, I made sure that I found it, but I found the how-to article for how to schedule posts and I linked it in our show notes for you. I know I'm always I'm always a big fan of scheduling just remember even posting just once a month can help you reach your goals of booking your next gig or even just growing your network thank you so much for listening if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed to the show so that you never miss an episode if you really loved this episode we would love to see you tag us in your story so that we can connect with more of our followers don't forget to check out our show notes and all of our resources we'll see you next week bye bye